I'm here to talk about our study on oxytocin. We showed that a single dose of intranasal oxytocin in men um, actually resulted in reduced food intake at a breakfast meal. So oxytocin um, is, is also known as pitocin, which is used to induce labor. So that's in the, the IV form. In the intranasal form, it's actually not uh, FDA approved here. It's used in Europe um, to induce milk letdown so to help facilitate nursing. So there's a really great literature in animal models showing that oxytocin has effects through pathways in the brain involved in regulation of food intake. Um, and so this really shows what's, what's been previously shown in animals, that oxytocin reduces what uh, men eat. Well, so hopefully it could be used as a weight loss tool. I think this is, is promising, um, but we need to do the studies to know. So um, we were able to show the reduction in food intake and the shift in terms of burning more fat. Uh, what we didn't show that's been shown in the animal models is an increase in energy expenditure, which would also potentially contribute to weight loss. And, and that may be that it, it doesn't happen with just one, one dose of the drug, and we need to look at repeated doses over time to see um, if oxytocin has that effect as well. So um, we brought in 25 men who were normal weight, overweight, or obese, and they came in first thing in the morning fasting, and they were randomized to receive either intranasal oxytocin or placebo. And, um, and then they were given a menu so that they could select a breakfast meal. They were brought double portions, and, uh, and then we calculated what they actually ate. So, so they came in for two visits, that was the first, and then they came in for a second visit where they received what they didn't get the first time. Um, and what we found is that when they got oxytocin, they ate less, so fewer total calories and fewer calories from fat in particular. We also looked at metabolic parameters and we found that um, men after receiving oxytocin seemed to burn more fat and they um, had uh, better insulin sensitivity, so they handled their glucose better. Um, so far, so good. So this is a, a small study. Um, in our study, we found that um, there were no serious adverse events, and the adverse events that we saw were similar um, between when men got the, the drug and the placebo. Um, and that's pretty consistent with what has been shown in other studies. Um, in terms of uh, long-term use, I think we need to, to do the study to see if this is uh, both safe and if it actually works in terms of treating obesity. So right now we're doing studies where we're looking at the mechanism. Um, so we are studying the effect of oxytocin on food motivation brain circuitry using fMRI and also looking at other um, sort of appetite hormones uh, that are involved in the regulation of food intake. We also want to look at this in women because this study was just in men and oxytocin seems to affect women differently. Uh, and then ultimately we'd like to test this as a potential therapy, so we need to look at the safety and the efficacy in the treatment of obesity and uh, its metabolic complications.